Are whales killed for the sake of elite perfumes? And how did a Thai fisherman get $3.3 million for 100 kilograms of whale vomit? And is there such a perfume? Or is Chanel No. 5 engaging in marketing again? Hello, this is Proxima. And let's get started with what is ambergris? This is a mixture of feces and undigested squid in the stomach of a sperm whale. The substance is formed in the lower intestine of the whale and goes out with other waste products. The fact is that the sperm whale absorbs a lot of squid and shrimp in its life, and when there's an overabundance of them, it regurgitates them. Sometimes a whale can die from an overabundance of food in its intestines. And yes, now no one kills whales specifically for the sake of ambergris. Indeed, for high-quality ambergris, it's necessary for the whale to digest it and spew it into the water. Previously, for the sake of this valuable product, poachers hunted whales in mass, but not all types of whales have the ability to produce this substance. Only 1% of all mammalian sperm whales excrete ambergris, and it's not necessary to kill them for this. Why? Let us explain. Fresh ambergris from the stomach smells like whale feces, so it's not caught immediately. It just floats in the seas for decades and is saturated with sea salt, air, and sun. Only after such a long voyage does it acquire its fragrance. Washed with salt and burnt out in the sun, the ambergris is brought to the shore. It's harvested and sorted according to the degree of maturity. It's not mature, slippery ambergris. It's not used because it's not suitable for perfume. Black ambergris is added to low-quality perfumes. Brown is added to woody fragrances, while white ambergris is used in niche and luxury perfumes. The standard size of ambergris can range from a few grams to two to three kilograms. The largest piece of material in the world was 122 kilograms. It dissolves in essential oils, alcohol, and softens in the hands, but it's not malleable to water. It also burns specifically. At first, it becomes a viscous mass and then evaporates. Ambergris is not the main scent in perfumes. Rather, it works as a scent fixative. Would you like to know what luxury perfumes use ambergris? Like this video and we'll tell you a lot of interesting things. Shalimar by Guerlain. Chanel No. 5. Al, Interdit de Givenchy, Dune Noir, Versace Woman, and many other brands add ambergris to ensure that the fragrance is fixed on the body. This valuable product is best revealed with tart, marine, citrus, warm, and sweet scents. But unfortunately, perfume with the smell of ambergris do not exist. It's like an elusive mood and state that emphasizes the main flavor, as an aphrodisiac that acts on both men and women. The value of ambergris is that it's very difficult to obtain from the natural environment. It's in limited quantities, and accordingly, such perfumes will cost from $2,000 and more. But of course, the uniqueness of this product cannot be beneficial for sales and marketing, so perfumers have learned how to develop synthetic ambergris and sell it. If you Google ambergris perfume, you'll see a lot of cheap perfumes for different tastes. Not only perfumers, but also ordinary fishermen benefit from ambergris. Just recently, in 2020, Narita Suensang caught 100 kilograms of ambergris and earned $3.3 million. Do you think it was necessary to invent synthetic ambergris? Or was it necessary to leave a tribute to the uniqueness of perfumes? We look forward to discussing in the comments.